What's going on, everybody? I know it's late, but I said I'm gonna get a jump on this video that I should have done forever ago, which is let's talk about some of the products that I have been introducing and let's answer some questions on some solar. I get a lot of solar questions when I'm talking about something completely different every time. How you doing, Shani? It's good to see you. Every time I'm doing a so a video about something completely different. Guava, hey, all in the homestead. Hey, Nene. How y'all doing? Let me, let me click in here so I can see exactly what's going on. Hey, she is Sunshine, Dave Busby. What's going on, everybody? Y'all woke like me? I took a shower in this heat and went to sleep and I slept my day away. So I ain't getting nothing accomplished today. Absolutely nothing. So I'm praying that I don't want to do no ranch dressing today. I just want to answer some questions. The questions that I've been getting lately and we'll move on from there. We are talking about solar power. Questions, information, and we are talking about and we are talking about uh some of the products that I've been introducing on this channel. So we can get right into that ASAP. So I want to say, hey, ill will in the house. What's up, Led? You say, what's up, Led? Hey, Shawnee. Hey, uh, Tamara. Hey, Al Smoking. Hey, Dave Busby. Who else we got in the house today? Let's see. All in the home. All in homestead. Guava. She is sunshine. Uh, Shawnee. 2003. Okay. She is sunshine. Says, I know what I want. I just need the money. What do you want? What are you looking for? I, I even, I'm so woke. I even made myself an iced coffee. This from the coffee that I made earlier today. Didn't even drink it. Wasting good coffee. How you doing? So good. So good, Gardner. It's good to see you in here, brother. It's good to see you in here. Um, cause you always got some good questions for me that I can't, I always miss. Dave Busby saying California, it's only 854. Okay. Okay. Urban Gardner. Let me see. I'm trying to get my screen so I don't look like I'm always staring down at the ground. Hey, power chair farmer. She is Sunshine says, I want the EcoFlow Delta and Wave. Woo, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say this and we just, we talk about solar now. This is just a chat. EcoFlow, EcoFlow is burning and this ain't me talking with my affiliation. This is just me. My normal, okay, this ain't got nothing to do with my affiliation with EcoFlow at all. Yo, EcoFlow is killing it. She is Sunshine say, now you see why I need the money. Yes, I do. But I will say this. It's worth the money. It's worth the money. I bought my first couple EcoFlows myself. And yes, it hit me in the pocket. But I'm glad I did. When I first bought that EcoFlow River, I had problems at first. Come to find out, I never, the reason I kept having those problems with that first EcoFlow River, and then I added the battery onto it to made it the River Max, I never updated the firmware. And that's why it never worked. Because, let me tell you all this too. Um, 
these new generators, you have to, hey, uh, CC Marie, how you doing? A lot of them say you have to download the app. We got to be aware of that. I remember, y'all, I, I was like, I'm not downloading no apps of no technology that I buy. I'm not downloading no apps. They make it in now, so you don't have to download the app. But if you want to figure out all the goods and the services and all the warranties and everything else that you need to, to fix the damn thing, it'll be a good idea. She is Sunshine says, uh, I know I work remote, but it has MJ clutch for me when my power went out. Worked a full day until the power came back on. Okay. That's why we're here tonight. Uh, and, and I'm taking show and tells. I'm not ranting tonight. No ranch dressing. I think I did enough of that on my other channel for, for at least a month. <laughs> um, hey, Pamela's World. Uh, my step, my two-step garden says, have the EcoFlow Delta, Delta Max. Can I link? Can I link it to my? Let me try this. Can I link it to my EcoFlow River Max? EcoFlow River. The only way you can do that, you can't use the smart cable. But this is what I do. I, I have all of my equipment under this tarp for EcoFlow, but I can't. My EcoFlow River is literally in Lady Led's car right now because... She just went out of town. And that's what, that's what, I can't even make that up. We could go out in the car and grab it. Matter of fact, I need to go grab it right now. Uh, Cause I totally forgot it's in her car. That's how much I trust it. Listen, true story. I'll take y'all out there with me right now. Cause I'm not going to leave it in there overnight. That's how much I trust that river now. Remember I used to hate it when it wasn't working. When I downloaded the app. And... Uh, updated the firmware whew, whew. I trusted so much it's in my wife's car when she had to go out of town for business I trusted so much that is what I give her to, to just to, for the just in case because it powers up fast it's powerful it got everything you need on it and it don't take, if, if she ran out of juice, it don't take it long to charge back up. It, that's why. It got, it hits all the bells and whistles. Okay, let me get back in here. No ranch dressing. No ranch dressing. No me running off at the mouth. Okay, um, so if you want to hook up your uh, step two garden, if you want to hook up your river to your Delta Max, all, this is what I do. I run it from... <clears throat> from my cigarette lighter port and charge it through the solar port on the on the river too. That's the way I do it. I don't run it through AC because I try not to use that much power. If you run it through the AC, it's going to, you're going to be wasting about 30 watts. Okay, that's right, uh, FLG, no ranch dressing. Okay, so that's how I run my charge my EcoFlow River from my Delta Max 2. Hey, Harriet Claire, good to see you tonight. Why ain't you sleep? She said, because I'm grown. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tamara Anderson, EcoFlow has a buy, pay later with a firm spread over 12 months. Um, It was helpful. <sighs> you know what? I don't like saying use credit to do anything. If you can avoid it, if you can avoid it, don't go in debt. But I'm my my problem with that, I understand you shouldn't go in debt, okay? I understand that. Nobody should. <laughs> It's hard for me to pick the words. I don't want nobody to go in debt. But doggone it, stuff is so, so horrible. And I'm not going to get into that. That's the other channel. 
things are so bad that if you have not been preparing this whole time and getting your getting your solar power or whatever, your gas, whatever, if you have not been getting your preps together, you might have to do what you have to do. Hey, Game Nerd Mom, you see I'm goose fraba. I'm much calmer on this channel tonight. It's late. I got me an iced coffee. Starbucks didn't make it, but it's Starbucks. I made it. Let's get back in here. I don't want to fall too behind. Um, so good gardener say, do you purchase the extended warranty on the units? For the EcoFlow, for the EcoFlow products that I bought at first, I did. I did. And this is what I always tell people when they ask me about the extended warranties. This is what I have to say about that. If you need to see if you need to purchase an extended warranty on anything, not just solar power, but your car or whatever, appliances, the question to answer that, the question you ask yourself to answer that question is, can you fix it yourself? Do you know how to fix it yourself? If the answer is no, then the warranty is yes. Get the extended warranty. Usually, it's just a little bit more money. And I promise you, my wife, this washer and dryer we've had now, I think the washer machine we've had since we moved to South Carolina, like 15 years, the dryer, she always say, get the extended warranty. Family, I can, I'm not a warranty dude. I don't know how many times the repairman have been in here to fix this washing machine and this dryer over the last, just say, five years alone. He probably know the inside of my house more than I do because he always in here. So get the warranty if you don't know how to fix it yourself. Let me get back in here. I don't want to go off. Um, I'm going back here. Ooh, I got some good stuff, y'all. I'm going to answer all these questions. I'm not leaving this chat until I, I address all of this, okay? Let's see. So, eco, okay, got that one. Yeah, you see me, Garden Thrive. I say, get them eyeballs on. Um, Garden Thrive said, yes, you hated their river so much. And I was it you that kept saying, no, you just don't know what you're doing. I, somebody kept telling me, it ain't what I think. And I had to eat my own words because I, I was not a happy customer. I was not a happy customer. Y'all know that. I wasn't feeling I even made a whole video. And I think it was called, why did I buy this stupid thing or something. Now, I trust it so much, it's in my wife's car. When I'm not there, it's in my wife's car. That tells you something, right? Uh, Power Chair Farmer said, I want to thank you for bringing the Blue Eddy to my attention. You are right with the smart, small, and add-on. I am up to AC 3000 and, ooh, B300. Okay, I need two more B300s. Thank you, sir. You cannot have too much solar power. But do me a favor. Start putting a little, invest a little more in those solar panels because that's important too, okay? Without the panels, your power station is kind of like a brick. It's like a gas generator with no gas. Uh, let's see, Shea Sunshine, uh, go get it before the scavengers and scallywags try to come through and get it. They're, right, I'm about to. I'm about to go out there. Zipporah, how you doing tonight, says... So do you feel it is better to get tried and true Jackery Blue Eddy Energizer opposed to the new versions of generators that use apps? Okay, that is a great question, Zipporah. I'm going to say this. It's a lot of new automobiles out. I'm not going to make this long. It's a lot of new automobiles out that are just as dependable because of their technology as our old versions of automobiles, our Chevy. We know Chevy. We know Oldsmobile. We know Buick. But now there's cars on the market that when I see them in the street, I'm like, what the heck is that, right? Well, 
things things have changed. I love my Chevys, I love my Dodges, but things have changed and there's new players in the game. I will personally say this. Yes, the big the big boys, Bluetti, Jackery, I mean Bluetti, Jackery, EcoFlow, and it was it's it's another one too. Oh, Energizer. I'm going to say this. They are the big names. But it's a lot of up and comers that that I deal with that. I got one right here at my feet that's gonna kick y'all dead in the nuts. Burt Richardson, what's up, brother? Thank you, man. Thank you. I've been waiting on how to introduce this one because this is a. I have a solar generator right here at my feet that ain't nobody got this technology yet ain't nobody done this i got a i got a solar power generator right now that not even the bigger names have done i think when they when they see this when these bigger names blue eddie jackery ecoflow see this the game gonna change i'm not kidding i'm not kidding at all i will show it to you tonight But I got to do the video first. Y'all want to see it tonight? No, I ain't going to show it. 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 I don't want to show it. Because it's a, listen, it's a, it's a solar power game changer with all the stuff was making it so hard for everybody to pick which one you want to get. It's because they all kind of seem the same, right? This is a game changer. Plain and simple. Okay. I was going, I'm working on another video for Abiro through Alcatel. I'm working on that video and I'm almost done with it. I'm going to release it. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to release this video tomorrow on this channel, but I'm going to release this new edition. This one I really want to show you so bad. I'm going to release it on Lead Farmer channel. But then I'm going to release it on this channel. I want to show you right now. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Can I? That's my problem right now. I really want to show you so bad. I want to see. Can I legally do it right now? I don't think I can. Just please be watching out for the video. No, I can't. I can't. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, I'm going to make sure I put this video out tomorrow. If not tomorrow, this weekend for sure. Because you got to see this. It's a game changer. Once all the other companies see this, everybody is going to be making their own model of this. I, I kid you not. Okay. Everybody is going to be trying to do this. Because ain't nobody doing this. And this is an unknown company. And I told them, y'all got something here. Y'all got something here. That's why I wanted to work with them. You hear it? You hear the fan? The reason you hear the fan is because it's charging two other solar power generators. I'm trying, I'm testing it now. I'm working it to the max. That is working hard, charging two solar powers. So let's get back into it. I, I'll run off all at the mouth. I'm, I'm way behind. Um, so good, Gardner. Do you purchase the extended warranty? Got that one? I say yes. If you don't know how to fix it, absolutely. Dave Busby. Dang, I, I messed up. Burt Richardson in the house. Uh, Game Nerd Mom said, did you do the video on the tri-fuel generator yet? No, because I'm, I need to add that into something else. I need to add that into something else. Uh, crafting in the cul-de-sac say, I got rid of my gas generator because I couldn't pull the cord. I got the Delta Pro with your help with the discount code. Thank you for that. But you know, don't get rid of your gas generator. Just hang on to it. Just hang on to it. 
avoiding debt so I'm cutting back on junk so I can get what I want. There you go, Farmer Marshall. There you go. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going back and then I'm about to slide back up. I purchased a Blue Eddie 2,000 years ago. Uh, Dave Busby. I purchased, purchased the Blue Eddie 2,000 years ago and the Blue Eddie 800 and the BRV panel. Okay, because of you and we just had power outages here in California and it was good to go. All right, that's what I want to hear. There you go. Okay, I'm caught up. Let me get down here. Everybody is like, unveil it, show it, show it. I really want to, y'all. I don't want to do that to you. I shouldn't even brought it up. But it's, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. Okay? Um, I don't want to get in no trouble. See, when I do this stuff, some of this stuff is, is, can be legal, okay? Let's see. Power chair farmer, yes, you are right about the solar panels. Due to my disability, I can't lift much weight, so I have 10 200 watt panels for the Blue Eddy generator. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me scroll down a little more. Oh, we at the bottom. We good. Uh, Zipporah say I hear you, but when I started watching your video and I got on board with getting generators, canners, water filters, maps, tents. Etc. Amazon credit became my best friend. As long as you pay it off immediately, you know what I'm saying? As long as you pay it off. I don't like using credit anymore. I'm trying to, you know, stay debt free. But at certain times where when you gotta do a power move, if you played it, play it right, you you gotta do what you gotta do. Um Garden Thrive for Life say, uh, we locked in for the reveal. Please, please watch this one. I know all the products that I show y'all. Some of them is like, mm, I know about that one. I've seen this one. I've seen that one. But I got some stuff for y'all like that three-wheel bike. That three-wheel uh, ad motor. Game changer. Every blue moon we run into a game changer. EcoFlow is a game changer. Add motor three wheel electric bike is a game changer, and this solar power generator over here, game changer. That three wheel bike is, is oh, it's a nuisance. Woo, that boy is bad. What is the name of your other channel? Um, uh, it's Lev Farmer 73. Lead Farmer 73. This is Lead Tech over here. All we talk about is technology and the latest innovations of everything over here. It ain't just about solar. Okay. I was trying to separate the two channels, but it's it's becoming very hard to do that. Garden Thrive. Garden Thrive say, I want that three-wheel so bad good on the bad joints look like you were having fun let me tell you something don't get me started about talk about that bike because this would be a bike conversation it's so comfortable and y'all know i'm a big man it's so comfortable on a normal bike that 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 seat <laughs> after a while that seat get the okay i don't care how little your rump is that seat after a while get to throwing them bowls at your cheeks. But this three-wheel bike, the way you're sitting is like you sitting on a chopper. The seat is wide and cushioned and you're just laying back like you're in a recliner. So you're, the pressure of your legs is doing this instead of doing this. You're doing this like a recumbent bike in the gym. You don't hardly even use the throttle. So yes, that that I was having fun for real. I cut we cut out a lot of scenes because I was we was having too much fun. You could see how I was uh gripping the grain turning in, in the video. It was serious. It was serious. Uh, let me see. Oh, thank you, Zipporah. Thank you for that. 
Support Jones. I wish I was on StreamYard now so I could put you up. Hey, uh, Nikki Tobin, you want to know something? I'm going to admit something. You know, I love my Lea Farmer channel. I do. I've worked on it for years. But I miss having the smaller audience so I can see everybody and talk to everybody. I kid you not. The reason I love Lead Tech Channel over here is because it's refreshing to just... Hey, Cece, see that? Hello, hi, Cece. Hi, Cece. Uh, Cece Marie. Nikki Tobin, how you doing? My two-step garden. What's the weight allowance on the bike? 350 pounds. Yeah. You got a whole 350 pounds that you can carry yourself and luggage and everything else in that compartment in the back. If that bike wasn't so, I would put it right here and do a whole thing on it. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do a live here on Lead Tech just about that bike. I'm gonna put that bike in the background and we're just gonna talk about it, okay? That's gonna be another live. Let me see. Garden Thrive say totally understand that uh, the gumbo on the other channel was like uh the gumbo it's it's a large it's a large uh following and it's hard for me to keep up that's why i try i try to see the screen but for some reason the only time for some reason there we go Every time I look down at the screen on my other channel, for some reason, the trolls always stand out and I end up engaging them. And that's where things go south. I got to stop doing that. Hey, uh, Ellie, how you doing? Hey, Grammy's Journal. Uh, let's see. Zipporah says, always, thank you so much, uh, Thank you so, so much for your info and tap on the head to wake up, start thinking, get busy. Thank you for that, Zipporah. How you doing sifting some soil and more? It's good. To, oh, that, there you go. What's going on, sister? It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Dave Busby said, yes, it's refreshing to get the message with the ones that really want to learn. See? That's what I was just saying in my other video just the other day. It's so many people that watch that channel that they have other agendas. Um, yes, I am. She is sunshine. I'm hydrating with this delicious iced coffee. <laughs> no, I got water behind me. It's refreshing because... Is people on that channel with agendas. That's what y'all got to understand when your channel grows. And we ain't going to start talking about that. But as your channel grows, you got to understand something. Everybody ain't here because they like you. Everybody ain't on your channel because they like your content. Everybody is not on your channel because they're here to learn something more. No. 30 to 50% of the people, as you get a bigger following, 30 to 50% of the people that fo start following you are there for another agenda. They they may need uh, you to help them build their channel. So them just being there actually helps them and their algorithm so that it gets hard to see who's down with you and who's not. That's why I always stick with my day ones because you don't you don't know no more, you know. Over here is nice. It's still nice. It's still nice. Got you, sucker. Uh, it's still nice over here. But I don't know for how long. Because <laughs> this one is growing too. Uh, let me see. Nikki Tobin said, I've been listening. I'm going to get this sucker. I don't, I don't know if this is a mosquito or a beetle. It's a beetle. Um, 
So I've been listening to you for two years. Man, I'm I'm ready for just about anything. My house looks like yours. I bought everything you reviewed, saving up for that trike now. Let me tell you something. I don't review nothing that I don't like. And I know I got this one company. I just spoke to them tonight. They don't they don't care for me very much. Because I won't deal with their I won't deal with their products. Matter of fact. I ain't gonna put them out there yet, but they they about to get they about to get put on the hot seat. Thank you for that, Al Smoke, and say thanks for keeping us prepared. Thank you. I'm gonna put them on the hot seat. I'm going to start doing a um, a product hot seat company hot seat. I'ma stop biting my tongue on what company suck because I've seen several people buy some of these products and. Over time, they have problems with them. It's not a, just a one-time thing. Everybody's having problems with them. And I'm going to start putting some of these companies on the hot seat uh, for being crooked and, and trying to sell junk. So that's going to be a part of this, this channel. I, I started it last time. I'm going to start it back up because I got this one channel that I just spoke to tonight. You're going to be the first. You're going to be the first on my list. So I'm going to warn the, the people, not just on Lead Tech channel, I'm going to tell everybody on Lead Farmer 73 channel to stay the hell away from you because y'all dirty as hell. Y'all crooked and you keep trying me to get me. Listen, when a company comes to me and they don't care how much money they want to offer you, just please put our product on your channel. Crooked. You dirty. You know you dirty. They know anything that they pay me, they can pay me $10,000. That ain't nothing to them because they know they're going to get that back from y'all selling the, the public garbage. I won't be no part of that. I'm going to put them on blast. And I am putting them on blast. They're going to be one of my first companies that I put on blast. And anybody I see with their products, I'm going to inbox them like, yo, you want to know what I know? Watch. I'm going to make sure they don't sell none of their garbage to nobody. Hey, Jamie, say I'm here because I need to learn. You are my teacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm a reminder. Not a teacher. Okay, Thunder. Thank you for getting me back on track, Thunder. So, which would you get? A solar power wall with some solar roof tiles or solar panels and more generators? Damn. I was about to say, what you talking about? But damn, that's a good question. My question to you, Thunder, is the solar wall expandable? Is the solar wall expandable? Because if my answer will be, if the solar wall is expandable, the next question is expandable up to how much? Like 92 kilowatts or something, expandable to how much? And then my next question would be I see I don't want nothing on my roof. Period. I will build a solar a solar panel holder, a rack. I don't want nothing on my roof. So that's the part of that question. Have you ever heard of Anchor Solar uh Shea Prey? Have you ever heard of Anchor Solar Generator? Uh, Shea Prey, yes. And I'm going to say this about uh, Anchor. I haven't had any um, experience with them yet. But everybody that I deal with has. And nobody got nothing bad to say about them. And I'm, I'm with the research I've been doing, Anchor is one of those, those companies that's going to come out of the blue and start taking stuff over because... I'm going to tell you two companies that's going to come out of the blue and take everybody by surprise. Uh, Anchor, 
I know they used to have some crazy stuff. Anchor. I got another one too. Pecron. I couldn't stand Pecron when they first came out. Pecron, Anchor, and uh, Zendur. Zendur and uh, Van Powers used to have Zendur. They had the same identical 2000 watt generator. But Van Powers stopped making their versions of solar power generators for some reason. Van Powers went into e-bikes Which I have to review But Zendor Zendor got some they're, they're amazing So Anchor yes Yes I'm going to I'm going to give Anchors a thumbs up Just by the research that I've done so far Um. So thank you Shay Prey if I get my hands on one, it, I'll be. Uh, trust me, I'm going to review it. I, I will be eager to see an uh, anchor solar generator here. Uh, let me see. I'm here because I need to uh, got that one. Thank you. Oh, Al Smoking. Thank you again, Al Smoking. CC Marie. Let me hurry up through these these things, and we're gonna get through this. I'm not a day. Uh, CC Marie, I'm not a day one, but I tune in when I can. I really appreciate your wife's knowledge. Uh, CC Marie, when I say day one, I'm not talking about the people that's been here with me for the whole 15 years. I'm talking about the people that really truly got my back. The down folks that really true truly got my back and I got theirs. It ain't my day ones ain't from you been here since I've started. Not that. If, if we got each other back and we truly got a true understanding and when I get an email from you and you trying to school me like lead that was a little rough or lead this that and other thing we can talk back and forth that's my day one right there okay it ain't got nothing to do with time because I got people that I just met over the last year that I'm down with like that okay let me see so you are my day one if you down with me Okay, in the greenhouse lounge. Zippor, oh, got that one. Uh, Garden Thrive say, watch for that one too. Oh, watch for that one too. So important to spend our money. Missed it. Golly, I missed it. I'm so behind, y'all. Spend our money where it matters. That's right, Garden Thrives. Say, I, uh, app. All in homes that say I picked up a few solar bug zappers that has a simple motion light on it. They last a long time on a single charge and help keep those bugs down. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, all in homestead. Listen, they have this one with some some of these bug traps have these sticky traps down in it and they suck it down in a fan. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. If you can get a solar uh, bug zapper that actually zaps, get that. Don't get the ones with the fan and then it's like a little glue trap, mouse glue trap at the bottom. Stay away from those. Just stay away from them. They, stay away from them. The company, they're cool. They reached out to me. And we, we spoke, we back and forth, but I told them this ain't it, okay? This ain't it. I tested it for two months out on, on the land. This ain't it. And they understood and they listened to me. I wasn't trying to dog them or nothing. Uh, Mr. Blackstar says, it's a lot of uh, snake oil salesmen out there. That's right, and I won't deal with none of them. Uh, CC Marie says, have you heard of U Green Solar? Absolutely, I have, and I'm working on that review. Yes, I have that one. I'm working on it. I'm, I told you I'm behind. <laughs> yes. I see when when I get a when I get a product from a company. I don't just pull. That's why you don't never see me do unboxings, because I pull it out the box. You see all this stuff behind me and around me. Because I really, I really test my equipment 
for long periods of time. I don't like that unboxing and just tell you my initial thoughts of it and here's my product code because you might buy this and I find out that it's junk 30 days later. Right when you find out it's junk, that make me look bad, that make you feel bad, that make you look at me like Dick Laird always tricking people. I don't, I got a house full of equipment that I test. I, I am testing the sounds that you hear around me are all my generators and things and products that's running, running right now. Because I don't like doing that. You know, I like to make sure the uh, the U Green, I've been testing that for maybe two months, three months. And I, I'm, I'm coming to a conclusion that I just want to put it in a video now, okay? Because certain things I don't like. Okay, let's get back into it. Okay. I'm looking. Uh. Okay, Monique Thompson says, what would you recommend for solar to heat a greenhouse to grow during winter months? I can't, I can't, um suggest anything i don't know what you plan on trying to heat your greenhouse with i don't know how many watts it takes i don't know anything about it so i'm not just going to just try to i won't do that to you okay because i could easily suggest a bunch of stuff and then i make my little commission off of it but at the same time you will get screwed so i you got to find out what are you running what kind of heaters how many watts is it going to take do you have a place where your solar panels are going to be getting sun like most of the day, if not all of the day? All of that counts, okay? Then I can suggest how many watts you are going to need, you know, what brand would be better for suited for that situation. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be square with you, okay? I'm not going to do you like that. Uh, all in homes there's a solar wall is a great idea i got one coming this goes to thunder and all in homestead i got a solar wall coming i don't want to speak on it yet because i'm still like this it's gonna change the game i know that i know that for a fact I'm even thinking like, I don't know how I'm going to pull it off. Like, because I got to get them solar panels up and out of the way. We'll we're talk about that at another time, though. From a reputable company, mind you. Uh, soil, sifting some soil, say, I don't want nothing on my roof either. Y'all have no idea. Uh... Y'all have no idea how bad that ruins your roof. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm just still trying to catch up. Okay, Shea Prey say I bought four inch 100 solar panels, still have to get a larger solar generator. I'm not sure what will go with them. Okay. What kind of solar what kind of solar panels do you have? Uh, you never heard of a solar wall? Please explain. Um, I'm going to have you Google that because it's a lot. It's a lot that we we don't have time to go into depth. Is basically, is basically a stationary monster of a power station that 
is stationary somewhere in your house, like your garage or something, and you have solar, it's almost like, it's almost like one of those places where you buy your solar, one of those solar companies, but you own your power. So this is a, you please Google it, because I'm telling you, we'll be in here all night trying to explain it. Uh, B. Rich say, Dave Busby, I'm still stuck on Jackery 500. It's slow. I will be buying two more generators soon. The old Jackery 500 is a trusty old dog. And I told y'all I'm a closet Jackery fan. I'm a closet Jackery fan. The only problem I have with Jackery is... I'm torn. Their technology moves so slow that we look at it as that's some Stone Age technology. But at the same time, just like Glock, just like Honda, they know what works. So they're doing a little bit upgrading their technology a little bit at a time. And I, the reason I say it's bittersweet is because even though we want the best, we want the, the hottest tech now, they're taking the time to test and make sure that their products come out 100% operational. That says something. I don't see too many people complaining about having to send their Jackery stuff back for anything. If if so, correct me, because I'm I'm listening. But I don't hear it. I haven't heard it yet. Um, I got a Jackery 500. I got a Jackery 240 and a Jackery 500 that I literally have dropped both of them probably 20 times a piece on the concrete. They just don't quit. So, if anything, if if anything, man, I, I love them for that because they are workhorses. They don't have the best inverters. Um, they're they super slow to charge those jackeries, but doggone it, if you got them on a the work site, you can kick them suckers like a football. They'll be all right. I ain't got nothing bad to say about them right now. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Barney. Say, I appreciate your video so much. Can you put a link with the video where you explain the daisy chain uh, linking the solar panels? Um, I will. I will. Let's see. Sunday Backyard Farmer. What's up, my brother? It's good to see you in here, man. Good to see you. Um... But I'm, I'm just glad that this is a smaller crowd. Okay, South Padre says, <clears throat> Hey, Led, it's been a minute. Uh, oh, Padre Q, I thought that was a question. Good to see Oh, South Padre, I see you now. Okay, good to see you. Monique Thompson, thank you for the insight for me to figure out. I thank you for your time and sharing people trying to be ready for whatever. Thank you. But I just, I just want you to, a lot of people is buying things. They have no idea why they're buying it. And they will say, Lay a farmer got one, so I'm getting it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because just because I like a certain product and I review it does not mean it's for you. Like it may not fit your situation. Okay, so check how many watts you need, how, what kind of heater you plan on doing, how big is your greenhouse. You need to know all of those before you start. For instance, would you go out and buy a, a motorcycle? Why, you got four kids. Why would you buy a motorcycle? You got to take them back and forth to school every day. But you, you, you got a Harley Davidson because I like Harley Davidson. You're like, Led, I can't drive no Harley Davidson. Number one, I don't know how to ride a motorcycle. Number two, I got to take four kids back and forth to school. You said, well, you asked me what I, what I suggest. 
You got to go with what you know you need. You know you're going to need you a good running car. At least four seats. Some luggage in the back. You know that for a fact. E economical. You know a, 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 a motorcycle ain't going to cut it. So that's the same thing with these solar power generators. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I see. Okay. Dave Busby say, Jackery is a workhorse. Yes, it is. Grand Acre say, got an Ocotel 505. That's a bad boy. 505 in the giveaway. Only came with AC power cord. Once I found DC adapter to connect to the solar panel. Game changer. Yes. 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 That's a bad boy. Okay. Game Nerd Mom says, uh... So, oh, you said brand sometimes not a deal breaker. There you go. These these people is coming up. Game Nerd Mom said, I just had my Blue Eddie, but I definitely want something with more storage, and it uh, it does not like, dang on it. Oh, it does not like the heat, so maybe gas generator for outside stuff. No, No solar power generator likes the heat like that. You can do not leave your solar power generator out in the sun. Don't. It's so hot outside, family. Even in the shade. This is this is unprecedented heat. N nothing really works outside right now. So even a gas generator, you you work that sucker to death. We in, we in some rough times. I'm not going to get into that. We're going to stay on topic. We in, we in some trouble. That's all I'm going to say. Um, Shea Prey. Rich solar, 200 watts, 12 volts, monocrystalline solar. Sorry, took so long. Had to, uh, info. Okay, no problem. Uh, John John 74 say I plan on mounting my panels on my pergola uh, over part of my deck. Now that's smart because that ain't gonna hurt nothing. You can you can rebuild one of those fairly cheap, right? If 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 worse came to worse, that beetle is driving me crazy. Okay. Thank you, crafting uh, in the cul-de-sac. Says does the gas. Does the gas EcoFlow have an easier start than gas generators? Does it have a pull cord on the push button to start? If I wasn't in the house, I'm gonna show you. When you see this, you're gonna you're gonna lose it. I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna give you my product code for it, okay? Uh my product code for EcoFlow is the same. I I I put it in the thing below. You don't have to, the gas generator, the dual fuel eco flow gas generator, you can start it with the cord. There's an electronic start button on the front, or you can start it with your app while you sitting in the house. I got a video, I did it. That's bad, that's a bad boy, okay? I love my Honda. I love my Honda. That EcoFlow. I know we're all supposed to be talking about solar. Let me tell you something else. I'm going I'm going I'm going to drift off into this EcoFlow real quick. This gas generator. When you use right now, I, I want to show you, but it's part of a video. Let me tell you something. When you got the EcoFlow Delta, right, with the, with the smart tether cable, there's a cable that you could add another battery to, which is the extended battery to the EcoFlow. But there's another socket where you add the gas. You could add another battery or you could add the gas dual fuel generator. This is how that works. I have a video showing this. Check it out. Say the sun is going down 
and your solar, you run in the air condition, so it's drinking a lot of solar power, right? So your solar power generator is starting to deplete. Say you down about 30%. I can't make this up. I've done it. I got a video on it. The smart dual fuel generator that's linked to your EcoFlow Delta Max 2 or EcoFlow Delta automatically senses that your solar power generator is down to 30%, it automatically kicks on. You don't got to do nothing. You done already set it in your app to, okay, once this get down to 30%, start the gas generator. Or once it gets down to 50%, start the gas generator. And once it reaches 80% full, shut it off. Or once it reaches 100% full, shut it off. So when I'm on the land out at Freedom Acres, that EcoFlow is running, the solar panels is recharging the EcoFlow Delta Max all day. But once night comes and they get no more solar and it get down to, I got mine set at 30%. Once it gets to 30%, that dual fuel gas generator kicks in charges up the delta max 2 to a hundred percent and now it cuts off now my rv is being run back on the delta max 2 again so i don't have to hear the generator running on it don't get me started I that's a whole video by itself don't get me started that's a bad boy and ain't nobody talking about it now, don't get me twisted. I love solar. But if EcoFlow has made it where that's a quad fuel to me. It takes propane. It takes gasoline. No, that's try. And it takes solar. So you mean to tell me you're using both beautifully. It's all working together where you're not using too much fuel you're not using up all your solar they're coinciding with each other working together so you don't have to just depend on gas or you just don't have to just depend on solar oh by the way yeah i purchased that myself let me let me re-up on my coffee There we go. Okay, let's get back here before it's time for us to go. I know everybody got to get some sleep, got stuff to do in the morning. And uh, so thank you for that crafting the cul-de-sac because you got me, you got me started. You got me started. Um, say, wow, that's awesome. Yes, indeed, that's a bad boy. Yes, it is. How much is EcoFlow? I've got the Delta. We're going to talk about that. Okay. Uh, how you doing, uh, Diane Henry? Says, okay, thank you for that. Just tuning in. Can't stay. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by. So, somebody, Dave Busby said, it's intertwined. Yes. Do y'all want to see it? Because I can show that. Do y'all want to see that? Just how it's done. I think that'd be wise. Let me get this beetle. Oh, that's a wasp. That's why that thing's so big. Hold on. I knew something was wrong. Hey, by the way, you don't, you don't, by the way, everybody, I'm about to show you. You don't need to be buying no um no raid or no um no insecticide to get the bugs out of your house. Spiders, listen, spiders, nothing. Let me show you what I did, then we're gonna see the generator. Just in case you got this going on. And when I tell you it worked like gangbusters, gnats, spiders, 
all flying insects. Let me show you real quick. I mixed this up just messing around when I was trying to catch my bees, right? And I knew some of the stuff that I put in here would kill my bees. So I did. I only used it to keep the bees away from certain areas because I didn't want to kill the bees when I was getting them out of that tree. I used spearmint oil, peppermint oil, uh, cinnamon leaf oil. I got the eucalyptus and the eucalyptus oil. Um, and Dawn dish liquid. I put about a tablespoon of Dawn dish liquid in this. I think this is probably three cups of water inside of this thing. Shake it up. Not only do it have everything smelling terrific, but it will destroy anything. If you got flies in your house, forget the flies water. Spray this on there. Spray it and the fly will drop from the soap. And then he'll do he'll start doing the Humpty dance and that'll be the, <laughs> no more flies. I don't got to be doing this. The summertime gnats and when this wasp come back, he going he going to he going to see how it works. So, I'm not going to go in. I just had to tell y'all about that because I, I made up something to do something else, but now no gnats. You will see a cloud of gnats over your sink, right? Spray, just spray over top of that cloud. They'll all drop and do the Humpty Dance and be finished. Now let's go see that peppermint oil and that spearmint oil is like even if they can get through the soapy water, they can't breathe. You can barely breathe smelling up that cinnamon and that peppermint. You can barely breathe. But it's good for us, right? It ain't harmful to us. They can't breathe. So when they lift their booty, because a lot of those insects breathe through their butt. When they lift their booty, they still can't breathe. Then they start doing the Humpty Dance and they be done for. It, try it, try it. Try it. That's all I can say. When you try it, you will thank me. You will thank me. Stop spraying Raid and stuff. And y'all heard about them forever chemicals, right? That's now I'm like, I told my wife, that's why this is sitting here. I said, just grab this. You get see some gnats somewhere. I've been spraying it around. Look here. This is her chocolate plant right here, right? So I just hit that right there for gnats. Hit that thing over the bucket because gnats be down in that up in my house plants and none of this stuff in here will hurt your plants because i've been spraying just just to show you just to show you i've been spraying all my plants with this stuff okay and it ain't doing nothing to them so let's get let's get to it i better take this under here just in case i got some some road crickets or something under here Y'all ready? Okay, I'm going to show y'all um, how this is done. Wait, I got I to gotta go get something so y'all can see better. See, I always got my, my trusty Sunday backyard farmer light. My brother Sunday sent me last year. I use this thing for everything, for everything. This is the coldest light I've ever seen in my life. All right. All right. I know this looks, this looks a little confusing, right? This really, this really does have no reason to be in here. I'm just charging it. This is the Delta 1300. This is the Delta 13. I mean, this is the Delta 1300. And I'm just charging it through these. This is the Delta 2 Max. And this is the extra battery for the Delta 2 Max. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just get this out of here because this is just going to confuse you.
because that's not part of this deal. Okay. Now, I'm going to unplug all this so you understand how this works, what I'm doing. This long cord here is coming from the smart gas generator. It's coming from the smart gas generator right here. So I'm going to unplug that because I want to show you how this goes. The delta, the delta 2 max is over here. And this is the extra battery, right? So this is 2,400 watt hours. This is 2,400 watt hours, right? So you have over 4,000 watt hours of power here. That's a lot of juice. That's over 4 kilowatts of juice. So to be able to use this, you have to use their wire that comes along with the extra battery. So you just plug that in on the side here. And now the Delta, let me, let me get you in here, in here. The Delta uh, 2 Max has two ports on it. The Delta 2 Max, now the Delta Max only has one port. You can still do this, but then you have to choose between their extra battery or the smart generator. It's up to you. So now I'm just going to put this, tether that into here, which now this controls this. Now I got over 4,000 watt hours of power. Okay. Now imagine I done ran 4,000 watts out because that don't take long if you running a window unit that's drinking 600 watts of power right you're gonna get about four hours five hours out of this so soon as this get down to 30 percent this done drained out this done drained out you got 30 percent what happens now is now look at the screen look at the screen on the smart on the smart gas right look at the screen it's off it's off once you lift up this flap in the front and connect this tether, still nothing, right? Now, once you connect it to the Delta Max, look, wait, look, it comes on by itself. Now, I'm going to show you something that's dope about this. You see it's reading 48%. This is how you just reset it, because it always do that. Cut it on. Now it's reading 100%. You know what it's showing me? I just filled this up full of gas. So it's showing me I got 100% tank. I got a full tank of gas now. Turn that back off so it's going to stay the way it is. So now that this is tethered to this, once I cut this on, the reason, let me back up. I got to keep this off right now because if this drops down to 30%, my gas generator is going to cut on in my house. You don't want that. That's why this cable is so long because this goes outside. Your gas generator goes outside. Always. So, let me cut it off because I don't want to forget. So now, this controls this this controls this this will automatically charge this when it drops to 30 percent and it will this will cut off when it reaches i got this set at 80 percent so once this gets to 80 percent this whole situation this will shut itself off and just wait for it to drop again down to 30 percent here is the electric start button right here. This is your oil sensor, your CO2 alarm, uh, your AC outlet button. This is a beast. Now, here's what's so, this gets even better because it takes propane. You don't have to use gasoline. This connects to propane as well like this. Here on the side is the socket, the propane socket, 
you take your propane, and it comes with this, and you just clip that in, hook that to your propane tank, and you work in propane. Come on now. I could just leave that on there because it's. That's how that works. Now, I, I, I could get a little complicated with this Delta 1300 on how I added the thir Delta 1300, which actually gives me an extra 1300 watts. So now you're talking about uh, about 5300 watt hours, over 5400 watt hours if you just use it through here but this only has uh the inverter is only 1300 watts so you ain't gonna be charging nothing or running nothing over 1300 watts with this you got you know up to 3800 watts so as long as you keep this around 1300 watts whatever you run it first it'll drain this then it'll drain this then it'll drain this. Then this will kick on. That's just adding more juice. So that's a whole nother ball game. We can get all crunk with this, but we ain't. Let me stop. Because I don't, I, don't, I don't went too crazy. Do we have any questions? I know that was crazy. I know it was crazy. Okay. I know it was crazy. Cut off my Sunday backyard farmer light. All right. So I know that was crazy, y'all. I hope it made sense. I was trying to do it in order. But when I'm dealing with my solar, I be, you know how it is. You be working stuff, trying to get the most power, trying to figure stuff out. So I was talking to you like, like I be talking to my brain. So I, I apologize for that. Um. So that's a lot of power. Uh, let me see. What should I buy as backup battery? I have no idea, C. C. Brown. I have no idea. I need to know your situation, my friend. Uh, let me get back up here and see if I had any questions on the the situation. Okay. Repeat the ingredients for the bug spray. It was peppermint oil, spearmint oil, uh, cinnamon leaf oil or cinnamon oil, and eucalyptus oil. I put half the whole bottle in that thing. And, and uh, a tablespoon of Dawn dish soap. Oh, somebody said it. Thank you for that, uh, God's desire for me. Thank you. And about three cups of water. Phew, work like gangbusters. Tr try it. You'll see. Okay, so let me see. Uh, how you doing, uh, Devaray? How you doing tonight? Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, CC Marie say that's a one-stop shop. I'm telling you, it ain't too many of them other ones out there that's really doing it. Now, Blue Eddie is, Blue Eddie is, they're, they're doing it like that too, but they ain't got no smart gas generator. I told you, EcoFlow is the game changer with that. Thunder, what model is the EcoFlow with the propane connection? I'm going to put that link at the end of this video, okay? As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to do it right now for you. Um... Uh, Hold on. I'm going to put it in here right now. Hold on. That's a bad boy. Give me a, give me a tick or two. Okay, I'm going to put this. 
I'm gonna put this in the link right here. Uh, it's the dual fuel gas generator. Okay, I just I just put it in the chat just now. Okay. Hold on. Okay, I just put it in the chat, y'all. So that gas generator kicks in automatically without you doing anything. All you do is go in your app and set it to whatever you want, whenever you want to cut it off, or you could just cut it off, period. You don't want it to run. You control everything that it does from inside your house. And I'm going to say this, I don't, I haven't tested how the maximum distance of between your Bluetooth capability and the gas generator, but I keep my I keep this EcoFlow gas generator about 30 yards away or more. Just say yeah, just give it about 30 yards away from my um, RV. 30, 40 yards. And I can still control it from inside my RV. I hit the Bluetooth, cut it off, cut it on, whatever I need to happen. So I've never had a problem where it's not connecting. Uh, let me get down here. Led, how loud is it when, it when the gas kicks in? Good question, Be Rich. Okay, I'll, I've had my Honda generator right next to it. It's just a hair louder than my Honda. It's a hair loud. It's how can I put this? It's it's not it's not noticeable. You you hear the Honda is quieter, but it's it's still quieter than all the rest of the generators. So it's like. It's not even noticeable. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say it's quieter than a Honda generator because it's not. Because I'll be having them side by side. It's not quieter than the Honda. But at the same time, it is quieter than the other gas generators that I've had and used, and other people that I've seen using them. So I'm gonna say that. Um, how long can it run per gallon? That's another thing. It takes. I think is a. Ooh, is it a gallon and a half of fuel it'll, it'll take? Because the Honda only uses almost a gallon. The Honda doesn't use a full gallon. This uses, don't quote me, I think a gallon and a half or a gallon and a quarter. Let me get over here and find it. Ah, Looking for the capacity. Um, Let me put it to you like this. It even tells you how long you gonna run off of that tank of gas. So I'm gonna look and see what it says, okay? I, I don't, I'm pretty sure this ain't true. It says it can run, it's running 12 hours, but it's probably saying all of this together. I know my Honda uses 0.97 or 0.98 of a gallon so not quite a full gallon i know down to a t my honda 2000 eu 2000i runs exactly exactly three hours think about that my honda runs three hours off of almost one gallon of gas this holds I'm, I'm, let me look it up Somebody find it for me. How much does this hold? 
because I have I have my instructions out at the land, not here with me because I'm using it here. Uh, uh, like dual fuel, so you have options. I will reserve the AC for charging critical devices. But see, this is this has the same inverter in it. It has a pure sine wave inverter, so you can still run your laptops. You want to run these together, coincide them together, because they're linked together. 1.5 gallons. Thank you, Sunday Backyard Farmer. So that's a that's a gallon and a half. So if my Honda going to run three hours, this is going to run, what, uh, four and a half hours, almost five hours by itself. That says a lot, depending on the load, too. Thank you. Oh, 1.05 gallons. Okay, so it's one gallon. So it's going to run around three, a little over three hours as well. Okay, thank you for that. That zero make a big difference, don't it? I couldn't think. I thought I was like 3.2 or 3.5. I left that zero out too. Okay. So let's get back in here. Um, thank you, Sunday. Thank you, brother. So it's three. I mean, it's, it's just say one gallon. A little over one gallon. And I think the Honda is right under a gallon the same way that this is right over a gallon. Um, all in the host there, do you have a demo video of the eco gas hookup, etc.? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I don't go in depth with it because I was talking about something else. I don't know. I don't think I've released that video. I don't think I have released that video now that I think about it because I've been waiting to... We're going to release. We're going to show you. Okay. When you set the eco, eco flow outside, is it waterproof? Can it get wet? Now, let's, let's talk about this now, okay? Nothing is waterproof. Nothing is fully waterproof. Have they gotten wet? Have they been through the rain? Absolutely. My Honda and my eco flow. Yes, they've gotten wet. Matter of fact, they got caught. Remember... I did a video when I was in a tent and it started hailing and storming and I was caught in there all they was out in the rain exposed all night. I wouldn't suggest you do that. So what I usually do and I showed everybody, I make I got some cattle panel and I make a little tent and I put zip ties at the top and I fold a little tent out like this and drape a tarp over it and put my gas generators underneath it that way it can get rid of the the o2 and the exhaust without shutting off and at the same time it won't get as wet okay let me let me go back up in here because i had some good questions yeah, so just make sure you keep it covered. No, no matter what, I don't care if they say some of these generators are waterproof. I'm not going for it. I wouldn't I wouldn't risk if they say it can get a little wet, but not I wouldn't risk something you paid that kind of money for trying to prove if it can get wet or not. Thank you, CC Marie. Thank you for that. I'm gonna get it. So the question was, how long can it run per gallon? I don't know per gallon, but like I said, that Honda runs three hours on almost a gallon. GT Jr. grows it in Alaska. What's up, my brother? I, I ain't seen you. There you go, my man. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Top Notch Rocker says, good morning, Lee. How much of the spearmint? I'm not going to talk about the bug spray. I, that's over with. I explained that already. I said half a bottle on everything, but you know. It just works. You ain't, this ain't no, we ain't baking no cake for Chef Ramsay, y'all. This is common sense. Just, just jug it in, jug it in there. This ain't got nothing to do with precise recipes. Just chuck that junk in there, okay? Ah, uh, you ain't gonna get graded if you put a little extra. 
Nobody getting a grade in here. Okay. I think I, I think I got all the questions. Anything else? I'm going to put this back in the chat again. This is for the EcoFlow dual fuel gas generator that will enhance your Delta, your EcoFlow Delta Max or your EcoFlow Delta Max 2 with the extra battery. Trust and believe that I've been this has this has been one of the main staples out on the land. I don't go on the land without this. If I'm going to be spending time on the land, I'm going to be out there for a week. I'm not going without this setup, period. I'm not. I mean that. Now, I have other things out there. Nose is all for my little fans and, you know, little, little stuff. I'm not going without this because this run that AC. It's too hot to be out there playing without no air conditioning. How much solar power would be sufficient for Delta Max 2000? I don't understand that question. Uh... How much solar power would be sufficient for the Delta Max 2000? When you say solar power, are you saying how many solar panels would you need? You want to read your instruction manual on that, okay? Because it's going to tell you how many solar panels you can have and how you should hook them up. I don't want to tell you something and then you, you fry your system. So read that instruction book, and it's going to tell you exactly what you need, okay? Yeah. Because I don't have the, the Delta. I have the Delta Max 2, and I have the plain th Delta 1300. What's going on, Rucker Homestead? Good to see you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, man, thank you. So any questions, y'all? We're here talking about solar. This is the time. I'm going to start coming on live on this channel more often so we can get this out the way without the hustle and the bustle of Lead Farmer Channel, okay? Y'all know I goes off over there. Over here, this is what we doing over here. Okay, uh, All In The Homestead said, you encouraged me to learn how to can using an electric can. Uh, I I never use the electric canner now. It may not be me. Oh, you're using an electric canner now. Now you hook. Okay. I was about to say, I don't do the electric canner. Uh, get ready prepping. Do the Deltas have expansion batteries? Yes, I just showed it just about 10 minutes ago. Yes, they do. Matter of fact, I'll show you one more time just for giggles, okay? It has the expansion battery on it right now. That's the Delta Max 2. That's the expansion battery that they link together. It can The Delta Max 2 can either take two extra batteries or one extra battery and a smart dual fuel gas generator. I have a question for everybody. How many people have the Delta Max 2? Or the Delta Max? Anybody? Uh, let me see. Sleeper says it takes 500 watts on two connections for the Delta Max 2. Delta Max 2 is... I got that beetle right here. Where's my spray? That sucker right here. Living it up. Drinking my coffee. Got your ass. Got you. You doing the Humpty Dance? I had to speed up the operation. Ha! That spray ain't no joke. <laughs> that spray ain't no joke. He lifted his butt trying to breathe. <sighs> Smell all that peppermint eucalyptus. That opens your sinuses up. This what gets them. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay, everybody said they got the Delta Max. I have a question for y'all that I'm curious of, for anybody that actually watches this video. Can you hook the meat grinder up to your AC200P? You might wanna give that a try, Barney. Do you have a meat grinder and an AC200P? You might wanna give it a shot. And let me know how it works. 
Okay, for the people that have a Delta Max or a Delta Max 2, my question to you is this. Can you hook two Delta Max 2s up together? Or can you link up three Delta Max 2s? I haven't heard nobody ask that question. I have not seen nobody do it. Nothing. Nobody on social media is saying it or doing it. Nobody. And nobody is asking that question. And for the life of me, I'm like, look, there's reasons why I'm asking this question. Uh, Top Notch Rocker said I had to order the Delta 2 Max during Prime Day, but EcoFlow was on back order. Okay. This is why I'm asking that battery. Say, I'm, I ain't buying it. The battery is enough. I don't understand what you're saying, uh, Aeon. This is why I'm, I'm asking that question before I go off on a tangent. Because with the battery, it will say, I guess you can daisy chain them. I don't, I ain't talking about daisy chaining them. Not, not, I, I'm talking about using the smart cable, the smart tether. That's what I'm talking about. And this is why I'm asking that question. It's a good question because the battery, the battery is useless without the Delta Max 2. The actual, let me, let's get back down here again. Let's get back down here, okay? This is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets interesting. There is no, let me get my Sunday Backyard Farmer light. Where is it? Can't do nothing without that. Okay. This is where it gets interesting. Okay. There is no other inputs on here. Nowhere around it. No AC ports. No um, USB ports. Nothing. You can't even charge this in the wall without this smart tether. This is what gives this life. If this is not hooked to this or this is not, hmm, I never tried to hook it to this. That's a good question, too. That's a hell of a question. Let's do that right now. So let's get to this first. The reason I'm asking, can you just hook two or three of these together? Because you got plenty of AC ports, USB ports, everything you need to run off of this. So if you could connect three of these babies together, that would give you more ports but I don't know if you can. Now, we're going to watch this live because I don't, I don't know if nobody ever done this either. I'm going to disconnect the smart plug from the uh, gas generator. Y'all watching it. And I'm going to disconnect the Delta Max 2. And I'm going to see if the battery itself can go straight into the gas generate. I hope I don't fry nothing doing this. If this come on, it's going to tell us something. Nope. See that? It's not doing anything. This should have came on. If if this could charge this through the smart tether, this screen would have came on by itself and instantly linked up with this. But it didn't. So that's a no. See, we just did an experiment that I haven't seen nobody do. Now watch this. Now when I hook this tether back up from the Delta 2, 
Same deal. Straight to the gas. This sh this screen is gonna come on because that's telling you they're smart linked. That's hard to come up. Now watch. See that? And it's back to 48 like I told you. Just reset that because I know that's 100% full of fuel. Cut it back off. Make sure it's off. But you see what I'm saying? This is the stuff I do all night. When I'm home by myself, man, I, I'll be playing and testing all of this equipment. Y'all don't get a chance to see me test this equipment like this, but you actually see on this channel, like I did the diesel heater, I'll be in here playing around, man, or the, um, what was it, the buddy heater, we be playing around for real. So, anybody, can you dig what I'm saying? Did I hook that all back up? Let me hook this battery back up. Okay, do y'all get what I'm saying? So my question is like, now can you hook three Delta Max 2s together and they, cause they're clearly the brains of the operation that's giving all the orders. The Delta Max 2 or the Delta Max seems to be the brain that's telling the dual fuel gas generator what to do and it seems to be the brain is telling the battery what to do because when you hook the battery straight to the dual fuel gas generator they don't see each other through that tether so that's telling you the delta max and the delta max 2 is the brains of the operation so if the delta max 2 is the brains of the operation can you hook three brains together they coincide with each other, telling each other to charge one another. Not only that, each Delta Max 2 has two ports. So you're going to daisy chain one smart tether to the other, the other one to the other. That's going to leave one port left open in each one of those. See, I got so much. If I had the money, I would experiment with all of that. You got a cable that goes to here, leaving it open. Cable to go to this one, leaving that one open. What are we going to do with all these open ports? Can you hook a smart gas dual fuel generator to it if that worked? To have infinite power and... USBs up the yin yang, AC outlet ports up the yin yang, solar panel inputs up the yin yang. That would give you, if you had three Delta Max 2s, that would give you six, I think it's, what is it, 1000 watt? Yes, yeah, six 1000 watt solar input ports. Or is it 500 watts? I think it's 1000. Don't get my brain burning. My brain's smoking. This is what I'll be doing in the middle of the night, y'all, just in case you don't know. So when y'all seeing me doing a, in a, a review on one of these things, and I'm just talking like this, AC import here, USB 2, da, 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 da. that's what I do. But what, what I really be doing, I be in here like Dr. Frankenstein. I have too many questions in my head. Let me go back in here. I'm sorry, y'all, but when I get to cooking on some real stuff, man, it's hard for me to stop. Uh, get ready, prep. It's possible they can make it work together in the future with the firmware update, I think. I don't know. I would love to see it. I have four, uh, have four panels, 10 watts from Harbor Freight. That's wonderful, uh, Bob in Missouri. Let me see. You get you get my logic. That's a good question. I'm telling you, it will change things. 
uh, my two step two guard and say, I understand exactly what you're saying. That extra battery can't be used for nothing else. That's the part that make. Let me tell you something. I love EcoFlow. I really do like EcoFlow. I think them making those batteries. Can I? I'm gonna talk to something else. Does the AC unit run off a of battery as well? I, I don't. I don't know what you're saying about the what AC unit. What AC unit are you speaking of, uh, DS? Oh, the AC unit behind me. Okay. Yes. Yes, it does. It runs off of the AC right now. It's connected to that right now. I just don't have it on. And you see me sweating in here. I just don't, I just don't feel like using my solar power knowing good and well I'm about to go back, try to go to sleep in a minute. Um... Oh, you made me lose my train of thought. I had a question. Mm. Uh, Sunday Backyard Farmer says, do the EcoFlow battery have any ports on it to plug anything into it? If not, that's probably why the generator doesn't see it. That's true. And you just reminded me, uh, Sunday, about my question i like eco flow but i think now stick with me i think that's the the only downside of that extra battery you should they should at least made it be able to charge from the wall they made it so proper uh um proprietary the damn you can't even charge it from the wall though so here's my question. Thank you, CC Marie. My brain kind of kicked in overdrive. Here's my other question about the battery. Now I've discussed this with another YouTuber. We was going talking about the EcoFlow and the battery being useless, right? Without the Delta Max or the Delta Max 2. Now I've been watching EcoFlow for for quite a few years and one thing that i've noticed they do stuff that don't make sense right we can all agree on that they do stuff that seem like man why did you do this what is this for why did you why did, why didn't they do xyz why didn't they do abc can, can i tell y'all what um what i told my friend what I think, now this is just me speculating, speculating. This company is too brilliant to be this stupid. EcoFlow is too brilliant and too revolutionary to be this stupid. They didn't make a stupid mistake. I don't think they're just... They didn't do this on purpose, and they didn't do it to say you can't use this battery with nothing else. Because all they had to do was make a special connection where you can't use it with nothing else. That ain't what I'm thinking. I was doing research over in the UK. Was that the UK? I want to say it was over in the UK. How you doing, Superman? They had a smart box. And I'll, it ain't too many videos of this thing where you connect the smart tether cable from the battery to this box where now you can plug things into it and you can charge it through the wall. So I'm thinking, is this going to come to the U.S. or is this experimental? Are these real people doing this? Because, you know, what if they have that battery and they have you a little modular box that has a readout screen, a digital screen, and it has a couple of AC ports in it, a couple of USB ports. So you can use this little box with any device you have. I just don't want to believe. And I'm, this is... 100% pure speculation. I don't want to believe a company that's so brilliant and revolutionary is that stupid. Now, I'm going to say this. 
This is why I say that. It's like when my son or one of my children make a stupid move. Right? Hey, Ross. Some of the stuff they do, I let fly because I'm like, you didn't know that. But when I know one of my children are smarter than that, I get in they tail. Because I'm like, no, you ain't about to pull. You can say that to your friends. You can't pull that on me. I know you're smarter than that. I know it's something else up your, up your sleeve. You know, I'm your daddy. Come and talk to me. What's going on? You ain't about to sit here and say you made a stupid mistake. And I know you're smarter than that. So well, I feel the same way about some of these companies. They, these aren't mistakes. These ridiculous acts of a battery that doesn't take a charge from the wall and is useless without the main unit. I refuse to believe that that's just some huge million dollar mistake. These people is playing with millions of dollars for all of this technology and innovation. They're not going to be this stupid. That's, that's all I'm saying on that. All right. The balcony power thing, right? Power stream, I think it's called. What, what are you talking about, get ready, prepping? It's called the balcony system. I don't, I've never heard of that. Uh, sleeper F2 micro inverter 18, uh, 800, we have it, and so do I. What is it about, though? What's a cash cow sleeper F2? Okay, so... Oh, that thing in the UK. It's called the balcony power thing. I don't know what it's called. I've seen it twice. And I can't find the video again. How long can the gas generator run on a 20 pound of propane? Um, About as, I don't know. I've never, I don't know. I'm going to have you look that up, but I'm going to say this. I have, I had a 20 pound canister of propane hooked to it. I wasn't never going to run gas through it at first. I ran a 20 uh, pound tank of propane through it and I never got through with it. It never finished it off. So I don't know how long it can just run through one full 20 pound canister of propane that's a test that i'm going to do because i had it on the propane and with the generators once the generators is full it cuts off so that it still ain't empty so i don't know i'm going to run it just on propane by itself and see exactly how long it runs it should be on something that tells us how long it'll run on a 20 pound uh tank Okay, most of the EcoFlow balcony systems are German. I knew it was something because I couldn't quite understand what they were saying, okay, by their accent. So, okay, I knew it was something, but I was on to something. I do my research. Uh, EcoFlow batteries are a cash cow. Now, Sleeper F2, FS2, I'm going to say this to you. Yes, they are expensive. But at the same time, they are living up to their price. I'm not saying that as an affiliate or ambassador. I'm saying that as they are living up to their cost. They're, they're at this time, they're worth their price. Okay. I'm not saying all products that they put out depending on what you need them for is you know but the generators 
on point. Uh, all right. Any questions before we go, y'all? I don't want to keep y'all all night. I don't want to do... Uh, I just wanted to sit here and chop it up and talk about solar because everybody, I could be doing a video on growing grapes and I got 40 billion solar questions and I'm trying to separate the two from that channel so y'all can really get some real answers over here without us, without you hearing me ran off and all of this stuff, okay? Without the trolls, without the crazy nonsense, we can chop it up over here and really get some real understanding of what what we're trying to buy what we doing like for instance everybody sunday backyard farmer uh sleeper f s2 um um where's my, my buddy at in here get ready prepping it was another one too hey that guy from texas hey tlc in the garden good to see you over here sister good to see you um, oh, all in the homestead with all the questions. That's how we, that's how we figure this stuff out. Cause we're actually asking questions to each other and sharing the knowledge. Sunday back, everything that I didn't know, y'all are helping me cause y'all looking it up for me, Googling it and everything else and coming up with the solution so we can all figure out the best choice to make. This is a lot of money that we spend. It's a big investment. So it's better. I just put the link to the dual fuel gas generator back in here again. Get ready, preface it. Solar is probably my favorite topic to listen about. I could chill here all. I, don't get me started because I could do it. I told you I'm off for coffee, iced coffee, and I've been asleep all day. So I could do this all night. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna burn y'all up with this. Uh, Zipporah says, do you feel the new one you are going to share with us is equal to the eco flow you just broke down no it is not no it's not it's revolutionary but it can't hold a candle to the eco flow and it's, it's reasons that i'm going to talk about why which i've been discussing with the company because i'm i'm trying to give them my input of what could be a little better to make it if they tweak a few things if they tweak a few things on this new one that I'm going to show you ain't nobody going to be able to mess with them ain't nobody going to be able to touch them if they tweak about three things I ain't saying the things is bad already I'm just saying if they make them a little better I'm telling you, they're going to shut the solar power industry. They're going to set it on its knees and make them bow down. I'm a matter of fact, y'all going to make me work on that video immediately. Finish it anyway, because I've been working on it. So let me get, I'm going to get busy on that. Because boy, do I want to show it to you right now. Because I've been taking it all around the country with me. Testing it. Everywhere we end up going is with me. Because I want to see how it performs. Whew. Whew. Okay, um, how heavy is the generator? Um, the gas generator, I want to say like, I don't know right off the bat. Uh, TLC in the garden, let me see for you how heavy it is. It ain't saying, I'm going to say about 40 pounds. 40 pounds don't quote me on that though because i don't even remember it's not heavy and where the handles are it's easy to pick up it's shaped and built just like the rest of the eco flows you see the handle in the front and in the back just like these so you pick them up like this so it's close to your body gt jr grows in alaska say i plan to get solar set up next year let me see let's see some. next year when i get my money right 
Gotta research it, do more research. Well, talk to me. Talk to me, because I got my hands a little bit everywhere, and you know, to help you make a decision. Because I got some information on all this stuff, man. So holla at me, uh, GT Jr. Chosen Seed Garden, I'm going to give Solar a try. Thanks for all the info. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime. So any questions, anybody? Any whatsoever? Y'all might as well go on here and ask me about the bug spray. Now, nah, they like, we done with Solar. Tell us about that bug spray again. It's the bomb. Say, let I have the EcoFlow Pro with the battery, and I love it. Okay. That, that's the one I really wanted. TLC and the guy said, I'm loving the Van Powers. That Van Powers ain't no joke. You know what? The, where I got that thing at? It's, it's here. I brought it here. It might be in my other room. It is. It's in my other room. I still got that thing. That's a bad boy. They just don't make them no more. It's a couple of companies that don't make their generators no more that really hurt my feelings. That I thought they were they were on top of the game. Van Powers, that 2,000 watt generator they made was my favorite at the time. Um, it's another one too. I'm trying to think. I can't think. I do they still make the Energizer 2000 watt? Let me see. I think they do. Energizer, I thought Energizer was really about to uh get in the game and really take over, but they just kind of backed down. I was I was waiting on them to blow up, but they just chilled out. I didn't understand. See, it's hard to even find that Energizer 2000. There it go right there. The 2150 watt hour, the one that I have. That mug ain't no joke. It's, it's comparable to the Blue Eddy AC200, the newer AC200P that take a low uh, wattage voltage. That's a bad mug, and they just... They just kind of got out of the game, I guess. That's unfortunate. I thought they was about to take over. There go that thing right there. Okay, let me get back in here, and then we're going to close it out. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Yeah, so yes, they do. They move the generators away from the e-bikes. And you know, I can't find no more of their generators from Van Powers. I have their e-bike in here right now, working, putting it together for a review. Should should have just kept making, should have just kept making the the generators. Should have stuck with the generators. Top Notch Rocker said, Led, I'm still going to purchase the EcoFlow Delta Max 2. Yes. Aeon says, Are two 160 watt EcoFlow solar panels a good price? I, I can't answer that for you, my friend, if that's a good price or not. That is. Is it a good price to you? I don't know your income. I don't know your price bracket. I don't know your budget. I don't know what you're buying it for or anything. So I don't know. That All of that stuff is very important. When you go buying solar, when you go start purchasing solar, you got to start by asking yourself what are your needs what are you trying to accomplish is if you're purchasing ecoflow foldable 
solar panels? Is it because you like doing a lot of camping? Is it because you want to be ready to mobilize and bug out of your house in an emergency? All of that counts. Or are you planning on just leaving them outside all year long just to sop up the sunlight and charge your batteries? Because now we're dealing with a whole nother animal. All of that stuff counts before you start purchasing really anything in your life. You got to make sure, is this what you need? Is this going to take care of your situation? You got to analyze your situation before you spend and or waste your money. Because you will find maybe you didn't need fold-up panels. Maybe you needed just something to sit outside in the yard all year long, which is hard panels. But if you're talking about mobilizing and bugging out, because I have an EcoFlow solar panel behind me right now, 400 watt, that's just for grabbing and going. I'm not, you don't leave those outside in the weather because they won't do right. If you leave them out there too long, they'll start melting in the sunlight. Trust me. Uh, how many watts do you need for what you're doing? That's, that's what you got to ask yourself. Led, do you have any input on Black Fire Power Station? No, I've, I've, I don't believe I've never heard of that. I don't believe I've never heard of that one. Black Power? Black... Black Fire... Black Fire Power Station. No, I've never heard. <laughs> I've never heard of that one. Uh, get ready, prepping. Have you seen the portable wind turbines? Jackery is coming out. They also have new power stations with built-in solar panels and a giant Regan wheel. Um. When we start getting talk, start talking about wind turbines, it's almost like you poke me with a needle every time. I kind of just, I glitch. Because everybody is so turned on by wind power because I know I used to be. But once you see what it actually takes to make those wind turbines actually move, you have to go above and beyond your tree line where the real wind is blowing up above the tree line. The other thing about wind turbines, if you can get it above the tree line, how are you standing this tall structure up? That means you're going to have a tall structure that you have to support with cables or whatever you got to do. Because it's in the wind and it's going to be on a little single pole. You want to make sure that thing don't snap off and hurt somebody. Now, the third problem is if to get the proper amount of wind to make those turbines spin, you got to get it up 30, 40, 50 feet up in the air above the tree line. Now, are you dealing with, uh, what is it, FAA restrictions? It's only so high you can build certain structures. Get this. When you drive down the street, depending on what city you're in, what state you're in, like here in Columbia, South Carolina, we have a law in certain parts of Columbia where signs can only be so high. They won't even let you. I'm talking about for restaurants, for businesses, whatever. It's certain most parts of Columbia, South Carolina your restaurant sign can't go up. I Don't quote me on this. I'm going to say 20 feet, 30 feet. They won't let you put like a come and eat at John's Hot Dogs 70 feet up in the sky like a billboard. They won't allow it. It's only certain places and certain things that you, you have to have a certain code to be able to do that. Right? So, um... <clears throat> if and I left out number four. If the wind ain't blowing, you ain't got no no power. If the wind 
the wind actually has to be really, really jamming for you to get power. And for what Jackery and all these other people are asking the prices for those wind turbines, it's utterly ridiculous. It's, to me, it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick more than it's practical. You know, those wind turbines, I wanted one myself. But there has not been not one in the last 10 years that I, when I was doing solar at my old homestead, in the last 10 years alone, there has not been one person on this social media platform that has proven to me technology has caught up and now it's time to buy a wind turbine. Because when the wind turbine, if they can get them to spin, they're not putting out enough power. You just spent $1,200 on this thing and it's giving you 40 watts of power. You can go put something together from Harbor Freight to get you more juice than that. You know, it's just not worth it. There was actually even a guy. There was actually even a guy that was so frustrated with the power that this thing was putting out. And he spent all this money. He strapped it to the top of his pickup truck. And roll down a desert highway trying to do about 80, 90, 100 mile an hour so he can make that thing spin and see how much power that is bringing in. He got all his equipment in the passenger seat hooked up to let you know the wattage, the amperage, the voltage, everything. This man is running down a desert highway doing about 75, 80 mile an hour. And that thing is up there. He got a camera on it. It's going to town. Ain't bringing in nothing. He would have had better luck on one of them $5 solar little fold-up things or one of them battery packs. It was awful, man. It was awful. That was the that was the best experiment I've ever seen with a wind, wind turbine. And that was actually the nail in the coffin for me to be like, nope. This man is doing 70, 80 mile an hour down the highway. That thing, that means it's getting over 80 mile an hour winds hitting that wind turbine. And it's still not putting out enough power. That means you're, you literally have to be in a doggone hurricane or a tropical storm for this thing to give you a little bit of decent juice. Uh, Barney said, and power regulating wasn't an issue with wind to make it consistent. Oh, so you, you saw what I saw. Uh, let me see. Prepper, get ready. So I'm actually looking into getting some Harbor Freight panels because you gave them a good review. Don't sleep on them Harbor Freights. Let me tell you something. I'm not affiliated with Harbor Freight in any way, form, or fashion. Them Harbor Freight solar panels to this very day, them hard panels, not only do they come with their own little legs to set them up, them Harbor Freight panels bring in more wattage than any other panels I own. Any I have rich solar and Renergy solar panels. They cannot outperform those Harbor Freight panels. To this very day, they can't outperform them. They cost around the same amount of money. You can just, you don't have to wait for Amazon to bring it to you. You can go to Harbor Freight and go pick you some up. To this day, hands down, I and I'm I'm gonna stand on it. I'm gonna stand on my word. Renergy and Rich Solar hard panel, 100 watt panels, can't hold a candle to Harbor Freight 100 watt panels. As soon as you change that input to SAE and you change it to MC4 connectors nothing is holding a candle to them period I'm, I mean they're actually even smaller than the rich 100 watts rich solar and the 100 watt Renergy solar panels they're smaller and more powerful those rich in uh do you have any sun power panels no I, I don't I I don't believe I've heard of those though. I have uh, I have a little bit of everything, but I don't have sun power panels. 
But right now, ain't nothing holding a candle to them, them Harbor Freight panels. Nothing I have. There's only... Well, I can't speak on this new foldable EcoFlow panel. That's a bad boy. But before the foldable EcoFlow panels, I thought my Blue Eddy foldable EcoFlow, I mean, my foldable Blue Eddy panels was the bomb. They can't hold a candle to, get this, Pecron. Pecron 200 watt foldable panels. Until I got this EcoFlow, I can't speak on this EcoFlow because I ain't fully finished testing it yet. They the bomb so far. So I'm not going to add them into this arena yet. Before this EcoFlow panel, 200 watt Pecron foldable panel. Pecron. Best foldable panels I ever had. And I got, you name it, I, I pretty much got it. Those brands. So those Harbor Freights, hard panels, untouched to me. Uh, let me see. Uh, my step two garden said, Led, I almost fell over trying to carry the EcoFlow uh, 400 watt panels. They got some weight on them. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got the foldable 400 watt panel. Look, let me just show y'all. Cause they are heavy as I don't know what. This is it. And they fold out. This is that uh, tr uh, bi-directional solar panel. They are the bomb because they catching sun from the front and from the back. But, you know, you got, this is some bug out situation or camping situation. So everybody that's uh, going to be at the camp, Survival camp, slumber party with me. You're going to get a chance to see some of this stuff first, firsthand. Uh, let me see. Ill will. Yeah, the flex ones. Uh, okay. You write about that, my step two garden. Ill will says, have you heard about a company called Suntan Solar that sells used solar panel? No, um... I do hear a lot of people talking about purchasing used solar panels, though. And I don't see a problem with it. They, they say they're used. I don't know how they can go bad. I think some of these companies just want to upgrade because, you know, this stuff been in the weather so long. For people like us, I don't see a problem with it. There's a there's one guy um, on here. I'm not going to I'm not going to say his name. But he, he runs his whole entire house. Don't say his name, please. But he runs his whole entire house on solar panels that he purchased that used to be on top of some business. He literally powers his entire house. And he got all his solar panels out in his driveway or something like that. Smart kid, too. Smart kid. Um, get ready prepping. You said you remember my first video you ever saw of mine was a live stream I did with the small red power station and the clamshell solar panel. Do you still have them bad boys? Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The clamshell is in the other room, but I kept trying to tell people they don't got to just buy that clamshell. You get anything you want. Why do I still have my 
trusty gold power plus out of all it is muscle I got muscle solar out of all the muscle solar power generators y'all see I got why do I still have my gold power plus no it ain't cause I'm a hoarder I still got my trusty Go Power Pluses because you see this little guy, even though it's a hundred watts of power, man, I just had this. I'm going to tell you why I just went and got this out of my living room because I still use them. That's how well they still work. I don't need a whole big monster thing when I'm just sitting here, sit reclining in my chair, my comfortable chair, charging my phone. Here's another thing. Flashlight. Here's another thing. Noah. Noah uh Storm Center. Weather radio. You this you need this whether you think you do or not. Lows around 70. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Friday, sunny. Highs in the upper 90s. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 70s. Saturday, sunny. Hot with highs around 100. Let me tell you something about these little guys. When I was harping on this, everybody said, oh, that's just 100 watts. That's just 100 watts. That ain't going to do nothing. You can't even tie your shoes with that little piece of crap. This is why I, I wasn't listening to all them stupid-ass people. Let me calm down. I went lay a farmer on them real quick. Because it always ain't about the muscle. Think close. You got 100 watts of power. Right? Yeah, that's not going to do too much. These for me were only $10, 10 or $20 a piece. I think they was $10 a piece for me. I was able to give a lot of them away. I gave away about 20 of them. But here's the other thing, family. Go price a weather band radio. Go price a weather, forget all the rest of this. Go price a weather band radio and you tell me how much that's worth. This has a life-saving weather band NOAA radio on it and an AC adapter and USB ports and a flashlight. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, does it have a radio? Let me see. I might be wrong on that. Okay, I'm wrong. That's the other one I got. Seemed like it had a radio. That, that might be my wind-up battery, my wind-up flashlight. But this right here, family, man, you can't. Yeah, I still got them. And they ain't going nowhere. These is, I gave away all that I could give away of these. These are mine. We use these to this day. To this day. So, don't. Ever sleep on them? You might say everybody was like, I don't know why he promoting that little junk. Because that weather band radio is worth the money by itself. Forget the hundred watt generator part if you want to. Them weather band radios will cost you anywhere from fifty to eighty dollars by itself on Amazon. Uh. <laughs> DSA, I still got my Go Power Plus. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, TLC say, me too, Brenda. Brenda Child say, the first uh, solar power I purchased ain't nothing. Don't ever let nobody tell you something is wrong with them. And I won't take that video down from a couple years ago because I still, I still stand on it. You want to see why this one got a zip tie on it? Because this is daddy's and here's mama's. This is lady Led's and here's mine. So I know, like, hey, you got mine. You're using all my juicer. 
if you go back in the videos, every video I done said about that, that same zip tie been on them all these years. Say so it actually does more than 100 watts. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But I didn't want to get into that with other people again. But you're right. It sure does do, do over 100 watts. That's right, uh, let it say that. Uh, weather being radio might save your life. Absolutely. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Don't ever feel bad about having one of them. Say I put the, the Go Power Plus on the map. I don't know about that, but I know I wanted to get the word out about that mug because when I found them, I was like, man, it's a game changer. That was a game changer. Uh, TLC and the guards say, uh, wasn't worth it once they jacked the price up to $150. That's when stuff got stupid because I was picking them up like $10, $20 a pop. The, the Gold Power Plus flashlights was 10 or, I got a video I never even released of all of the flashlights that, that I have bought. I'm going to release that just for y'all on this channel. I, I, I got Lady Led is recording me. We in Walmart. And I'm just scanning a whole bunch of them. All of them that I gave away. I only got two to this very day because I gave away about 20 flashlights and 20 of these radios. I never released the video. So I'm going to release that. All, I got two uh, flashlights left. That's actually the brightest flashlights I ever had in my life. I don't know. They just, they really need to come back and do something bigger than what they're doing. But that discount or the closeout, whatever they was doing, they should have stayed there because that's when it was worth it. I can even see paying $40 for one. After $40, now it's getting stupid, you know. 50 probably because of the weather band radio. You can't leave that out. 50 maybe. After that, now it's ridiculous. Uh, D. Charles said the problem with the bright flashlights is they get hot quick. Not mine. I don't know what kind you have. And mine have the wind up thing on it. The bright flashlights, you mine is LED. Mayor Dunn said, I remember you were telling us to buy them, and a few months later the price went up. Let me let me put these over here for I'm knock them down. Yeah, and the price went up. Let me see. DJ Riddle said, I paid $40 at Walmart. After $40, it got stupid. You said, oh, I had the LED ones that you, you can shine across the lake. I, you can see the clouds. You can shine them on a cloud. So, yeah, them the ones I got. Okay, y'all. No more questions. We just chilling. We just chilling. We this just been a, a solar chat. So, with that being said... We'll let it go. Which one do you have? I need that. Which one what, D. Charles? Oh, the shine of the flashlight? I Man, that's I keep one upstairs in my bedroom, so when I look out the window, I know what I'm, I know what I'm aiming at, so I ain't going to run all the way upstairs. Uh, it's, one is black. Listen close. One of them, because I have, not I thought about it, I have four. The wind-up one is orange and black. Brightest, one of the brightest flashlights I own. The other one is, is by Go Power Plus. The orange and black one with the wind-up, it has a radio on it. I think it has the, the NOAA radio uh, on it too, weather band radio. A normal FM radio, all on that flashlight. 
and a solar strip so you can charge it in. in Y'all make me want to go get this damn thing. But it's so late. I don't want to keep y'all waiting because I really, I would love to show it to you. I've showed y'all a billion times. This flashlight got, it has this thing, this solar panel that doubles as a, like a desk light. It has a crank on it. So if you ain't got it solar charged up, you can just crank it and it'll power up. But then the other Gold Power Plus is all black and it got a rubber housing to it. And it even has jumper cables to go to it. Now, all of that's out on the land. I don't have that here with me. Can you just put a YouTube short of it out later? I don't want to waste no time with that. You know what? Fi, you say, we'll wait, brother. Yeah. I'm going to show you the flashlight. We're going to get out of here, okay? Give me two ticks. I'm going to run all the way up these stairs. Go get it. Y'all, hold on. Because it's worth seeing. Y'all got me running. Okay, y'all got me running. This is it. If you ever see this, this ain't no joke. It looks like a toy, don't it? It looks like something from uh, To Infinity and Beyond. It look like a toy. This don't look like no real, because it's plastic. This don't look like no hard core but watch this see this piece right here that don't look like nothing to you right watch this it's a light that's the solar panel the re i keep it in my window like this so the sun can hit it and charge it Brightest light. I ain't gonna shine it in your eye. Brightest, you don't, you can't tell right now. Brightest light you ever have, right? Now, this solar panel that doubles as this is solar panel side, and now it's a desk light. If you set it here, and you just wanna, let me show you. Okay. You got this right here, desk light. Now you hit it again, it's off, but now you got a USB port right there. You have a regular output, uh, uh, um, what is that called? I don't even remember the name that kind of port is no more. But then you have your volume, your weather band radio. Can y'all see that? Weather band radio right here at, and FM radio. And here's your antenna. Here's your normal FM radio dial on it. Or you could just turn it to weather band. Let me see. It's on weather band right now. It's on weather band right now. Thank you. 
Oh, and a SOS. I ain't gonna keep doing that. Little antenna on it. Now watch this. Turn it on FM. A speaker. Let me stop before I get knocked for this. Let me stop before I get knocked. Let me turn this on. Okay, I, I don't want to mess up my radio station. I was jamming. Um, now let's cut it off. Here's the sweet part. This the another hidden little gem. The wind up. So if you ain't got no solar. And let me put the antenna down. If you ain't got no solar, this is how you crank it and charge the battery. Put that handle back down and it will give you power. It don't get no better than that. And all you do is just leave this side facing the sun. I leave it, I leave this in my window so the sun catch it and it's always charged. I don't ever have to worry about it's ran out of batteries. And even if it's a cloudy day and it ain't got no charge to it, you can wind it up and use it the same way. So it's a hundred percent. And when you wind it, it charges the battery that, that runs the everything on it. The weather band and everything. I said, what, uh, did you get that on Amazon? No, I got it at Walmart for like $10. What it been, y'all, like two years ago, something like that, three years ago? It's $31 on Amazon now. Whew. You know something? If it's $31, I say it's worth it. I say $30 is worth it because you got everything and it's, it's lightweight. It ain't even heavy. You got a weather band radio, a FM radio, a USB port, a Samsung port, a, the brightest flashlight you've ever seen in your life. You're going to see that when you get it. The brightest light you've ever seen, crank power, solar charging, desk light. $30? You will pay $30 just for a decent flashlight. That's why I'm like, it's definitely worth it. You will pay $30. Look, we're, we're my Sunday backyard farmer light. You will pay $30 or more for this. That's a snap on. You will pay over $30 for that. Uh, never stop purposing. Oh, no, I paid $10, but that was before. Right, that was before the madness. It ain't going like that no more. But it's still worth thirty dollars. If you can find this for thirty bucks, it's still worth. I would buy it for thirty dollars. Uh, Ross say, "Gonna check Walmart again." That's gonna be a hard one to find. You will find them, but they ain't gonna be no doggone ten dollars no more. Say it's a Swiss Army knife flashlight, Grammy guns. Yes, yes it is. TLC and the guards say them prices ran up fast because we were buying them fast. And right, we was at $10, you better go get you about 10 of them and pass them out to your family. People was giving them away for the holidays. Uh, say, Led, what's the milliamp on it? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have any of the instructions no more or anything. This is not to be trying to. I, I, I just don't know. I'm not going to sit and lie to you. Um, it's been a while since I looked at any paperwork and it don't have no writing on your hardy like that. So I don't know. But all I know is no matter what, you can keep charging it if you need to. You know, crank it. Mississippi Survivor said, I can't find Go Power Plus anywhere anymore. 
This was a rare breed. I got this one and the black rubber grip with the uh, car jumper booster on the back of it. <clears throat> See, Marie say you can get all three products for about $200, right? That's going to cost you. That's going to cost you. Okay. Let me see. Ill Will said they $30.81 at Walmart. Online, or you can just walk in the store and get it. Because that's not everywhere. You can't find them in no Walmarts around me. I know that. All right. Any other questions, y'all? Because I could do this all night. I'm not going to do that to you. Because I told you, I get excited about technology. I get excited about power, solar, all of this electric bikes. I get excited about this stuff. And I love my gardening. I do. But I'm not going to do that on this channel. This is where my other side of me, man. I love tech. All right. So... Again, I'm going all I'm going to keep on doing lives over here where if you got questions, we are going to try to answer it ourselves. We're going to try to answer these questions and I'm going to be showing you these products. They're not going to stop. So over on this channel, get used to it. I don't like just doing too many lives over on this channel. When I go live on this channel, I really want to discuss a situation, an actual product you know, or subject matter, okay? So with that being said, you guys, I'm going to get out of here and let y'all have a, 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 a decent night. Let me see, was that normal? No, that wasn't normal. That's what I thought. Just people coming in, checking to see if we alert. Um... Thank you so much, uh, We Terry. Thank you. Everybody, have a wonderful night. Oh, the question you asked about EcoFlow Delta 2 Max is stuck in my head. I've been wondering it for the longest, and I would love for anybody to tell me. Any other content creator to deal with technology or the uh, EcoFlow Delta Max or Delta Max 2, if they can see if they can smart link three of them together or even two of them together i would love to see that all right everybody enjoy your night i'm gonna be up for a while and y'all gonna see this shirt in my next two videos because i'm about to pump out two right now all right lead pharmacy every three i love y'all have a beautiful night go get some rest because i'm gonna go try and i'm out peace guava everybody Oh, I'm trying to cut off the wrong thing.